Welcome everybody back to another Boldcast Reaction. I'm Carson. I'm Lindsay. And this is Hori Mia, episode two, cooking class. Let's check it out. There's no real point in recapping because these are disconnected stories that yes. will just happen over the course of the season. Hope you enjoy. Leave a like and subscribe. Check out our episode one, re one reaction. Check out our season one reaction. Let's check it out. Why does Sengoku look so... <laughs> oh. That's why they, they hate it. They're like, just, just when we overcame swimming, now there's like a whole slew of other events that we have to do. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. I just thought about this, but I wonder if the author has like a has like history of body image issues. Mm. Cause like so many there's like at least three or four characters who like have something to yeah. do with that. Yuki, the two boys, and mm -hmm. there's probably more. Yeah. A little bit of Sakura. This OP is so good. Also makes me cry. Oh. It's nice. It's that shot of him looking at the back of her neck and he's like, now it's time for my revenge. <laughs> I think this one's gonna be in my in my playlist. The OP? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In my villain era. <laughs> <laughs> they all go home and do like what Bochi did to like try and get sick, like yeah. sit in the ice bath and stuff. <laughs> How about hurdles? Like how we jumped over that fence or whatever. Mm -hmm. Everything's more fun when you have friends. But you're on the opposite team. It shows up to someone else's school. <laughs> Just <laughs> be like fucking the. Uh, like, uh, what's the, his name? The his dad the, from Kong. Yeah. <laughs> Remember when he took pictures of, of Chica and then yeah. he's just, just like, what the fuck is wrong with you? He's just like. <laughs> oh, she actually is a cheerleader. Moments before a disaster. <laughs> oh, this bitch. Come on. What, me? Yeah. <laughs> not saying come on to her, just showing up. Look at Sakura being so nice to this schemer, this little finger s character. Okay. I really just wish all this shit was in the show, like, yeah, you know. 
Like, like the more I see, the more I'm like, this would be so much better if we were just watching the normal show and it was two cores. Yeah. And it was where it was supposed to be, and we got more develop development of the characters before mm -hmm. their big arcs. Not that it didn't work. Also, she needs to get clothes that fit her. This is pissing me off. Those are probably the snottiest, wettest, like, dirtiest fucking sleeve cuffs I've ever seen. <laughs> mm. Very nice. But they can't cook. <laughs> Wait, isn't Hori on their team? No. no. Right? I forget. No. Her. Maybe this is just for something else. What? what? <laughs> They're just so confident in being wrong. That's that what you just described is the exact reason I hate Raimi. And why a lot of people don't like me. <laughs> oh, this is just their class. Oh my god. <laughs> Why don't both of you just wash the dishes? That's the classic useless person thing in I didn't in think that she's on their team. Their, or is she in their group? I don't know how they got to this point if she was in their group. Where's don't the teacher in this class? Teachers don't exist. There's the one pedo teacher and then, it, and then, the, and then one, ever, the one female teacher who gets mad at him for being, for being a loser. <laughs> it's <a kind> of like <laughs> potion. <laughs> Throw it outside. That's kind of sad. Wait, is fall the end of their year? Because I thought it was backwards, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> why, why are they so incredibly stupid? I think they're just trolling her at this point. <laughs> Cuts himself again? Yeah, it doesn't look like he's holding a knife very well. He just cut it in his hand until it was nothing. <laughs> I thought she was gonna say, just peel away the skin, and then he was gonna like peel away all the skin <laughs> off his finger. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, maybe they shouldn't date each other. It's More okay, like... Rengoku's like anorexic, so he, you know, he won't eat very much. Is this Lindsay? <laughs> <laughs> I can cook rice. Lindsay's one enemy is rice. She made some last night while I was editing. And I was like, okay, yeah, she'll make the No rice. matter what I do, the rice always had too much water in it. No matter how not not how little water I put. You just don't have like a sense for how much it needs. I don't know why. <laughs> You're goddamn right, Raimi. You mess everything up. Yeah, she's too good for this world. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Are they together? together? <laughs> you said that, I don't remember that, but... I'm 100% certain they're together. Well, maybe this is before. <laughs> I feel like they all should have just been piled out in sizes. Like, small, yeah. medium, large, all, all just like li lined up on a table somewhere. <laughs> yeah, but she was a psycho. <laughs> so we can beat him. <laughs> Mock cavalry battle? Yeah, you know about that? No. It's a classic Japanese thing. Now how come they get to do cool stuff and all the girls just have to be cheerleaders? It's a classic Japanese thing. What is this outfit? Dripped out. It's for their like sports day thing. I think for the cavalry, I'm not sure. <laughs> she said that out loud. <laughs> oh, did she forget her glasses too? <laughs> <laughs> but it's your menacing aura. I'm terrified. You just what? <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah, that's all the difference. Gr much better. <laughs> it's not like she's painting anything crazy. It's so messed up. It's just that um, Yuki is a is a is the art girl, so she's worried. Oh, this guy again. Whoever he is, mm -hmm. anime original character. Yeah, he fucked it up. What are you gonna say now? What are you gonna say now? He was helping a girl with her textbook, and now you're borrowing other guys' blazers <laughs> to cover your bare legs. I don't know, I don't even know that guy. I've never seen him before. <laughs> I like the soundtrack of this. It just sounds so nice. <laughs> 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 
So no conversation about like the double standards of it all? <laughs> if he was jealous, then why did he like hide? Just so that <laughs> He's gonna picture her like with, <laughs> with, her, legs. with her legs in the sleeves. Sports day. They skipped the whole sports day arc. I actually can't believe that. That they skipped like this, this it's like a classic rom com the, slice of oh, life. Oh, in the slice show of you life mean that trope. They skipped, yeah. yeah. They like I didn't know they had a whole sports day arc that they fully cut out. <laughs> yeah. Like, like a whole like this must have been like a quarter of the manga they must have cut out. Uh that's crazy. Yeah, the more I watch, the more like the more I like it, but also the more I'm like, wow, like they really just completely neutered the story. Like if I if I was a manga reader watching the first season, I'd be like, holy shit, they just like Took they're out missing all like stuff. all of the story. Like how how are they missing all this character development? Mm-hmm. And all just these fun scenes and everything. Like in the, in the relationship like that the, the scene with Sakura and, and Yuki in context with how eventually their relationship would go is so I mean maybe it already happened. I think it. I think this is before. This is before. I think it. It. It changes. Like they aren't just like classmates. Like they hung out. Like yeah. you know, they they helped each other. They, there. There's like scenes of them like, you know, getting to know each other and mm -hmm. shit. Like that. That it completely changes them. they like the the dynamic there. It makes it honestly worse what Yuki did. If I'm being 100 percent honest, because she wasn't just a random person. She was like they were like friends. So, that's kind of weird. Uh. Comedy scene with Rengoku. Like I feel like this Rengoku. is something that that is that could have been being cutting that, out, yeah. not not that it was bad, but like if you had to cut compared something. to everything else that we've seen from this season in these two episodes, this is the one thing that I'm like, yeah, this is a little bit silly. Um, it doesn't add too much to the character development. If they needed to save time, it makes sense why they cut this. But also, it one thing it does do really well is we had uh, we had a lot of development for Yuki and her sort of internals and and what kind of person she was. But we didn't get a, as much for Sakura. Yeah. Um. In in comparison, and so like having her be like this this also set up for like that her you know her tragedy with uh, what is what is the name Ishikawa, Toru is Toru the other guy Ishikawa, yeah. um. You know that that whole thing and and how she got kind of rejected or just kind of left in the dust really, the, the, the just just from a setup perspective of like for the reader or for the watcher like you know they're setting her up as like the perfect wifely figure the perfect girlfriend who mm -hmm. can like really cook and is really caring and cute and all this stuff and then, uh, and and then she gets completely left in the dust mm -hmm. and it just kind of flips it on its head. It's uh you know it, I think it adds a lot to. I don't know the 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 shittiness of, of what happened to her and not just like oh sucks to suck it's like oh no they like were really setting her up to like get with somebody and then she just didn't mm -hmm. I mean the whole point of her thing was anyway that even even if you're like it was set up regardless yeah. like without this inclusion but it's, it's just again it's just like all this stuff it adds in all this it. stuff actually adds and it doesn't like I don't, I don't think it slows down the story too much to have all this you just needed to have more episodes to do it but mm -hmm. that, it must have just been a production thing that like they, they they just didn't give them enough episodes, mm -hmm. which is really unfortunate. I, I really hope to see like the fan edit one day that, that yeah. sort of cuts all this together. Mm -hmm. And then there's all the jealousy stuff with whoever this guy is. <laughs> Was he in the other show? I think he must have been. I'm I'm just joking. I'm not be re not remember him. I guess. But like it's just so like the whole jealousy thing is so weird. This is where like the um, this is where. It's it's it, it's kind of feel like new territory to me because I'm not used to female character written by female author that acts like a actual high school teenage girl or that is like from that perspective. It's just from a different perspective and has a has different 
sort of biases and there's biases in the stories that I normally consume where it's more male centric and male focused and um, there's sort of double standards in the other direction but then I see stuff like this and I'm just like is the it, it's just weird to see the the, the whole bi the the jealousy thing play mm. out this way where she is allowed to get all pissed off and chase him around the uh, around her house <laughs> and make him terrified of her but then when she does something I think that's like way worse if you if you're if you care about that kind of thing if you take that personally like if you're going to take stuff like this personally first of all the fact that she just is completely <laughs> off the hook basically and it's all funny that he gets a little jealous but when she gets jealous she gets to freak the fuck out you know it's just kind of I get it, it's I'm exaggerating it because it's because you know it is a raw it's like the, it's a joke like it, it's the whole point at the end of the day it's just supposed to be cute but and it's a fantasy because like me and Mer is supposed to be like the perfect guy so of course he wouldn't get mad and shit and it's not about like portraying the most realistic relationship ever um and it's not about her like you know I don't know. It, it, she, she's she's the main character at the end of the day. I get it. Does any of that make sense? What, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I guess. I guess also what it does though is it shows that they both get jealous, but they react in different ways. Like she is more outgoing and kind of crazy and unhinged anyway. So she like makes a big scene about it, but the, but at the end of the day, she's not like interrogating him. Like she 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 puts on a big show, but then it's like oh whatever, you know. Like mm -hmm. she, she, she's like glaring at him and chasing around the house. And then she's like, what? I didn't say anything. And then they, it's just kind of like, what? It's just like, yeah, I, w I was jealous. And then he comes in and is also jealous, but responds in a different way. And, and just like show, because also because the other guy's not there, he just like comes in, shows her that she is his basically like takes the thing away but then he also wears it because he's also cold and then uh puts it back so that the other guy doesn't have to know and there doesn't have to be like any, any anything like weird conflict. about it because he's secure enough in their relationship that he doesn't care whatever the other guy whatever the, this other guy is doing yeah that um he doesn't need to he doesn't need to like ca cause a scene about it and i wonder if this was in the main show if there would be more thinking about that because like maybe like I, maybe she would reflect like oh you know is this how a mature person deals with something like this where they just like try and avoid the conflict and just trust the other person instead Hori's like immediately getting pissed off and like making a scene in their class mm -hmm. and uh and and then he just like kind of lets it go and is jealous but doesn't doesn't let it ruin everything mm -hmm. and um it's more of a cute jealousy is played off like that. It's just kind of a weird double standard. And uh, I wonder if there, if it merits, if it, if it was part of the full on plot in the main first season, stuff like that, if it, or if it was part of, if it was developing their relationship, if it would merit some self-reflection on Hori's part. Cause there was, I think there, if I, I don't remember every specific event of the first season, but I remember a lot of stuff like this where like, there would be some weird double standards where she would just like kind of freak out and then mm. he would, you know, be the perfect guy. And then she would be like, oh my God, he's so perfect, but not reflect on like how she was a psycho a second ago yeah. because it's made for girls, I guess. And by a girl who I imagine feels very similarly. Like it's, it's she, uh, I don't know. It's a, it's a, it's in a way like a female power fantasy where you get like the best guy ever. You, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Does that make sense at all? I, yeah, I guess. I just don't. I don't. I don't think. I don't think it's like that. Super crazy, I guess, of like th this little situation. But yeah, I see. I also. Th I'm just. Uh, yeah. That's why I connected it to like the overall, the overall char part, yeah. char like her whole character. Like everything that happens is kind of like, or not everything. A lot of there's a lot of things that happen like that where like. You know, and with other female characters too, like with uh, Raimi, that's why I got so pissed. That, and with Yuki, that's why I got so pissed because it's just like, you don't see, like it's things that I think are like a little bit weird or fucked up are like played off like, oh, that's just kind of what happens or, you know, it's not even reflected on, like, it, like there's any other side to it really, mm -hmm. you know, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I also think that I would just want to say that the whole scene with the blazer was so incredibly stupid. Like this guy came, was like, "Oh, you're cold. Just give it back yeah, to me whenever you want." Did he walk around the corner? He like back? he like walked away. She could she she was painting one number. That doesn't take very long. He walked away. She wasn't even done. And he's like, "Oh, are you warm now? Let me take that back from you." It's like, what? did he walk away? Realize that he was freezing cold, 
and then walk back. I think that must have been what happened. <laughs> Let me know if you need anything. And he has the face of like another really cute guy, like helping you out, but not th not thinking too much about it. Like he's you know he's 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 doing you a kindness. And it's and, and you know it's it's really it's really uh, attractive that he's you know being the man, but he doesn't he doesn't expect anything from it or, or think about it in that way at all. He's just <laughs> he's just effortlessly being really cool and, and considerate. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it doesn't make sense how like he literally just like he, did a lap around the building and then came back. But he came back from the same direction. Like he like it was like he literally just went around the corner, stood there for a minute, and then came back. Maybe he saw their whole interaction and was like, "This is awkward. I should get my blazer back." <laughs> he like went. He was about to go around the corner, then he sees Miyamura come up, and he's just like, "Oh shit. Oh yeah, they're dating. Oh, this is weird as fuck." Okay, I'm gonna. Take that back. Ugh. Should I go back? And then he's considering for a second. He's like, yeah, I should take it back. And then he goes back. He's like, he, he was he maybe walking up. He's preparing this whole thing of like, oh yeah, Miyamura, like uh, I gave her a thing. I hope that's not weird. And then it's just like, oh, he's not there. Thank God he ran away. He's too awkward <laughs> for both of us. Okay. All right. I'll play it really cool. Let me know if you need anything. <laughs> and then as he talked to her, I was just like. I think it would have been funny if he came back and Miyamura was just wearing the jacket. Yeah. <laughs> I think that that would have been way more funny. Uh, and he's just like brushes off. Oh, sorry, sorry, man. Here you go. <laughs> um, and yeah, wait. Uh, sports festival usually happens like at the end of the year. Um, and I forget, like, I, I'm pretty sure they start school in the spring. And then they end it in the fall or the winter, right? That sounds right to me, but I feel like I always get confused be just because of the nature of anime. I feel like I can never tell, cause like, but sometimes they graduate when there's like the cherry blossoms around, which is in the spring, so. Begins in April. Uh, which lasts until, uh, cause it's summer vacation. Oh, April to July, then there's summer vacation. And then, it from oh but then oh so there's th oh so there's like it's like two big blocks okay so. so there's like winter break and summer break and unlike here where winter break is like the bitch summer break it's not it's like two weeks long it's like they get two big chunks out of the year mm. that are breaks and two big chunks so it's like yeah. april to july summer vacations summer vacation begins at the end of july so they get all of august off so yeah, I guess that's it's their like shitty one. It's slightly longer. And then December 25th, until about December 25th, the term begins in early January and continues to late March. Oh, so they do have three blocks. So it's like- Oh, never the, mind. it's worse. It's, it's way, way worse. worse. I don't, yeah. They get way less time off. Anyway, this is uh, the final term, January. Okay, so this is, this is like the middle of the school year. Okay, actually, this actually makes a lot of sense as to why it always seems like, like there's star schools starting and ending around the same time because it is because there's it's broken up really weirdly. Yeah. Okay, that that makes sense because I'm always like I it feels like they start in the spring, but then it also feels like they end in the spring, and that doesn't make sense. But I guess it does when you look at it like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So basically, their school year sucks. It's like two to three months on and then one month off like yeah. throughout the year basically anyway so yeah that makes sense i was like i was wondering if if the, if like they were all worried because it was the it was nearing the end of the year but no it's just that they hate sports festival <laughs> <laughs> yeah anything else we need to talk about i think that's pretty much it love this show yeah it's just just really nice really kind of relaxing and nothing too high stakes we already know how it ends yeah it's just just good stuff Leave a like and subscribe. We'll see you guys next week. I'm Carson. I'm Lindsay. Bye-bye.